குரு ராஜா எவ்ரி வேர் அண்ட் இன் எவ்ரி திங் இன் புராணாஸ் தாமோதர் குண்ட் இஸ் எக்ஸ்டோல்ட் ஆஸ் கன்ஃபரிங் புண்ணியா ஆர் மெரிட் ஈவன் அட் த வெரி தாட் ஆஃப் இட் மியர் காண்டாக்ட் வித் இட் will cause sins of even the earlier birth vanish a bath in it will stave off untimely death cure diseases and prevent distresses arising from the rulers enemies thieves occultists and so to the danger from animals will be thwarted hazards from fire water and gas will be warded off and ghosts and evil spirits will be kept away I was immersed in such thoughts about Damodar Kund wondering whether a darshan could be had at all of such a holy place keeping my fingers crossed about what reply I would get from the pilot I could at that time hear the pilot and co-pilot talking about the scheduled flight to Muktinath should be adhered to and after reaching there on the basis of the information about the weather condition en route further decision could be taken i just asked them what is the position regarding the amodar kund flight anything can take place please resume your seat was the cold response in just 10 minutes muktinath was reached from jomsom by helicopter i felt excited on seeing gantiki from the sky the river in the dry bed of which i had treaded in 2004 during my flight I solely pray to Gantaki O oh mother by the grace of Shri Man Narayana we are going to the place of your origin we have come here crossing all the hurdles on the way and I pray that you should cause our Damodar Kund darshan to fructify without any hardship when the helicopter was in Muktinath I pray Mukti Narayana I am going to have your darshan after 5 years After Damodar Kund darshan I shall be having darshan at your sanctum with a contented heart please grace me such privilege simultaneously supplicating to Sri Guru Raja to bless me to write about the Damodar Kund pilgrimage in part 8 itself offloading 12 passengers at Muktinath those who had come for Muktinath darshan the helicopter pilot raised his hand to signal that we could fly to damodar kund making me exclaim guru raja the helicopter was soon airborne with the 12 passengers bound for damodar kund the mukti narayana temple dwajala mukhi shrine and sri narsimha temple presenting a wonderful sight from a high altitude we could feel the helicopter gaining height and what an enchanting view it was to see mountains everywhere making us wonder at god's creation as nature seeing tall peaks from the helicopter i reflected it is said some great personages had treaded on these mountainous terrains oh how hard in such inhospitable surroundings it should have been for them to move about on foot the flying machine was maneuvering between the mountains at great altitudes where there was no space for even an emergency landing i was then mulling ebulliently guru raja it is you who have brought me to this height and whatever be my position i am always thinking of you and meditating upon you with unflinching devotion if a task is taken on hand and pursued with earnestness it is you who remain with me as the pillar of support and bring me success at the time deemed fit by you if the end is justifiable and the efforts ethical such unbounded grace of yours can be understood only if experienced the bright sunlight shining on the mountains had now turned into a golden hue the snow capped hills presenting a yellow tinge all around as if they were clad in saffron clothing indeed a marvelous sight to behold the color picture of the two temple towers appearing on the cover of this needs some explication here one is the dwarkanatha temple tower and the other the rukmini devi temple except these the other portion in the background of the towers is the distant view taken by me from the helicopter the various components of the picture like shri guru raja in front 
the temple towers at the back and the distant hills have been juxtaposed in the portrayal to present a composite whole and by observation one can discern the mountain ranges bathed in golden hue even while meditating on sri raghavendra at that time it occurred to me that the snowy ranges of the distant hills beyond the yellow stretch was like the gray hairs sprouting around the resplendent face of guru raghavendra making me wonder whether he can be seen anywhere else in such splendor during the days following my graduation when i was staying in raipeta i used to visit the parthasarathi swami temple and sri raghavendra swami mat in trivalikeni chennai passing along the ancient house of mahakavi bharati on the way to the mat engrossed in thoughts about that great personage kindled by the sight of that memorial in a similar vein i used to visualize also a sanyasi shri guru raja in that guise treading from stretch to indicate the place for the raising of a raghavendra mrutika brindavana in that vicinity covered extensively in part 2 yes whatever or the wholesome thoughts occurring in one's mind shri raghavendra at the appropriate time will grace the fulfillment of such devout and morally sustainable longings shri guru raja has that way blessed my owning a showroom in the aforementioned place proximate to the bharatiyar illam and opposite shri raghavendra swami mat a boon that his infinite mercy has rewarded me with there are many more such instances of his boundless compassion extended to me and when i pen my autobiography at a later date i shall be writing of those in detail with my mind visualizing shri guru raja in everything my thoughts too were soaring in the skies when the helicopter was cruising at high altitudes indeed the power of the mind is limitless as one can travel to any place in an instant in contrast to the reality on the ground the cabin crew suddenly drew my attention then and pointed look that is the damodar kund i was so thrilled by its beauty that i felt elated that i had achieved the goal of my lifetime something for which i had patiently waited so long a later a little later the helicopter landed near the damodar kund the extreme chillness outside made it difficult for us to disembark despite all the protective coverings that we had on us and when we tried to step outside i was taken off my balance by the high velocity of the wind and the noise of the rotator at the start itself the crew member gave us the alarming call quick quick the sky is getting dark and what follows next is an account of the experiences at damodar kund <laughs>